we should connect to analysis services server type. In Object Explorer, right-click Database Folder and select New Query and MDX. Select the cube. We can see the cube structure. To display the number of cars sold we should execute the following query. The select clause defines which dimension members to include on each axis of the report, and the from clause names the cube that is being queried. To display the number of transactions we should execute the following query. Instead of manually typing the names of measures and dimensions we can drag items from the metadata pane to the query pane. If we create a query that has only one axis, it must be the column axis. In this case, the total price for all categories is displayed. The members function returns the set of members in a dimension, level or hierarchy. This query returns members of category level. If we create two axes, one must be the column axis and one must be the row axis, although it doesn't matter in which order they appear within the query. The square brackets around a particular object identifier are optional, as long as the object identifier is not one of reserved words, does not otherwise contain any characters other than letters, numbers or underscores. cube name contains a space, so it have to be enclosed by square brackets.
the terms columns and rows are simply aliases for the true names of the axes, axis 0 and axis 1 respectively. Technically, an MDX query can have up to 128 axes, with aliases for the first five, columns, rows, pages, sections and chapters. Although our query may be correct with three axes, SQL Server Management Studio can only render bidimensional results, hence the error message we get. The viewing software can show tables, 2D results, but doesn't have a way to display 3D results. non-empty function returns the tuples that are non-empty. Now, in the result set there is no empty attribute named unknown. Members function can be used with measures dimension, returns only measures defined directly on the cube, calculated members are not displayed. The add calculated members function returns all measures, even calculated members from the measures dimension, when the calculated members have not been explicitly specified in the query. The all members function returns a set that consists of all members of the supplied level. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Learn with video tutorials com.